Welcome to Ask Experts. Today we're joined by Ted Shields, uh, Product Manager for the Portable XRF line. Hi Ted, how are you? Doing well, Ian. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us today. It was my pleasure. Um, so we've been getting a lot of uh, questions about XRF on our social media channels. And some questions have come about is what is X-ray fluorescence and what is XRF? Well, XRF is X-ray fluorescence. That's what it stands for. And it's a method to get fast, non-destructive, elemental information about the sample that you have in front of the analyzer. What type of uh, samples or applications would you be using XRF? Well, the most common application is for scrap sorting. Okay. Uh, a scrap dealer gets more money if he knows that his stuff is all the same thing, so that when they go to melt it off, they can make new stuff out of that. Sure. Um, so that's really you know, what, what we do is we say, okay, it's this grade of metal or that particular grade of metal. Then they can sort it into light piles and then sell it for more money. And so that's where the value gets added, sure. by knowing what you have. What other type of applications is XRF being used for? Well, there are some other metal applications, which are for positive material identifications, which are in, uh, like oil refineries, you need to know that the pipes that you install there are the, what they're supposed to be, so that they don't corrode too fast uh, and leak and create a health hazard. Uh, but there's a lot more than just metals. Uh, it can go on to uh, soils for mining or for environmental, for looking at like lead in soil and a number of other things like that. There's consumer products looking to make sure that like lead in toys. Uh, it's even used in art and art. Uh, archaeometry uh, to look at kind of what paintings are made of. Because it's non-destructive, uh, you can use it on pretty much anything. Wow. Um, and do you be, have to be highly trained to understand how to use this equipment? No, all the difficult, you know, mathematics and all the, the, that stuff goes on kind of behind the scenes. So we've made it pretty straightforward to use. With a quick safety training in most regions of the world, you can be up and running in a couple of minutes. Wow. And, and so this seems like a perfect technology. If uh, are there any other alternatives to XRF? Well, XRF has kind of a unique space in that it, it gives you quick answers out in the field because you can take the, the portable instruments out to your sample. Um, and there are a bunch of laboratory techniques that can be a lot more precise, but those usually involve bringing the sample back to the lab. They require like a lot of digestion and, and work and sample preparation in the lab, and they also destroy a little bit of the sample. Um, so they have some limitations. Um, but, yeah. um, so some people would send things into a lab. You're doing this more on location. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to do a sample time? Take a sample. Well, that really depends upon what kind of answer you want to get. For a lot of the scrap sorting uh, things, we can get an answer in um, you know a second or two in terms of what type of metal it is. Uh, some of the metals are more challenging. It might take 15 or 20 seconds. Uh, in the mining kind of space, they're they're looking for usually some very detailed information, and the test can take a minute or two. Right. But it's, uh, it's, again, relatively quick compared to the hours of digestion that you might have to do in the lab, or you know, when you send it off to a lab, have, you know, waiting for them to get to it. And Three all days the to a week. <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if you uh, expedite it and really, you know, and, and pay the extra fees. Because right. uh, you've got that much time in transit time alone, usually sending it off to the lab. Absolutely. So the immediacy of XRF is really um, one of the big selling points for it. Good. Ted, thanks for joining us today. And, um, Thank you for joining us today. If you have any more questions about uh, XRF, X-ray fluorescence, uh, please join our social media channels and ask a question or visit our website, olympus-ims.com. Thanks.